Hey guys, this is Gavinelli and welcome to another Hackintosh video. Um, this topic is uh, sometimes brought up in my comments or someone usually sends me a message uh, asking what do I think about an AMD Hackintosh. And um, if you've seen my videos then you know that I don't recommend it. If you haven't seen my videos, well now you know I don't recommend it. And this is why. Um, for starters, when you go to uh, update your AMD Hackintosh or your version of OS X, which you know most likely you'll probably have Snow Leopard, because right now there's a beta kernel for Lion, and you might not have that. You might be just getting your feet wet and starting off with something simpler, like uh, a Snow Leopard Hackintosh. As you see right here, this is a Snow Leopard, and uh, it's on my Hackintosh laptop. I started to do a tutorial, but I said, you know what, that would be stupid of me. Because one, it'd be a waste of my time trying to show you something I don't recommend, which in turn would be a waste of your time. It would diminish your OSX experience. Um, anyway, um, yeah, when you go to update, you know, you'll, kill, you'll kill your installation. And the only way to prevent that is you have to take some steps or some measures after you update it. You will have to look for a package, a kernel package. And basically the way that kernel package work is uh, most likely, if I'm correct, uh, the kernel that you'll be using for AMD is um, legacy kernel or if I'm correct, it's chocolate kernel. I could be wrong, but if I am, please don't ridicule me. Don't think I'm an idiot or a dummy. But uh, anyway, I think it's chocolate slash legacy kernel, whatever. And um, the kernel for Intel machines, which is the native kernel, is vanilla. So what's going to happen is you're going to update your Hackintosh, your AMD Hackintosh. And that update is going gonna, is gonna to modify your chocolate kernel and turn it back into vanilla. Then in turn, when you reboot your machine, you're going to have a panic attack. Uh, which is the equivalent of the blue screen of death on Windows and you don't want that then you're gonna have to start all over again yeah it's a pain in the ass um, but there's a package there's a package that you can download and what happened is is when your kernel is when your chocolate kernel or legacy kernel is turned back into vanilla this package will turn it back into chocolate if I'm correct um, and what else? What else? Uh, what would be another reason? Another reason is it differs between an AMD Hackintosh. I'm mean, sorry, an AMD laptop and an AMD desktop. With an AMD laptop, most of the time, the majority of times, if not all of the time, your GPU will be an onboard ATI uh, chip, ATI graphics chip, or GPU for short. And um, there's no course extreme. I can't even think of a laptop that's an AMD, that's an AMD laptop or an AMD Hackintosh laptop with course extreme support. I just can't. So I guess you're probably saying, well, I can get, I can get past that, and you probably can. And in some cases, you probably, you know, you can. And in many cases, you can't. Because uh, a lot of software required that you have Quartz Extreme. Okay. So, a lot of things won't work if you don't have Quartz Extreme. Like, for one, if you don't have Quartz Extreme, you can't watch DVD movies. And you're probably thinking, well, I got a DVD player. But what if you want to go and you pull out this, this mighty, majestic Hackintosh of yours? And you want to showboat it or you want to train or you want to bus... You're on a bus ride going out of town or somewhere. And you pull out this Hackintosh where everybody is pulling out their little MacBook Airs or their MacBook Pros. And you go to watch a movie thinking you know everything. This is what's going to happen. Hold up. You know what? That's wrong. Hold up. Let me get this DVD to play. I'm going to eject it. Alright. Now this is you. I'm going to watch Beverly Hills Cop 2. Shoot on my Hackintosh.
Damn. That's going to be your reaction. Trust me. I've had two AMD Hackintoshes. And it was cool when I first started out because that's all I had. And I was trying to get my feet wet. And the only operating system I was working with at the time was Leopard. And then Snow Leopard came out. So it was kind of cool. And I didn't know anything about Course Extreme. What made me learn about Course Extreme is one day uh, while I was at work, this guy who worked under me at a printing shop, he had a MacBook. He had a MacBook, uh, I think it was a MacBook. Yeah. Or well, it was a G4, it was a G4 MacBook, something like that. Well, his screensaver came on. And if I'm correct, it was Flurry, I believe. Then let me show you what Flurry looks like. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second. All right. Okay, that's what Flurry looked like. Now, let me cut this light off so you can get a good look at it. That's what Flurry looks like. It is not supposed to look like that. It's slow. It's choppy. Now, I'm going to find my other Hackintosh. And I'm going to show you what Flurry is supposed to look like. Give me one second. Okay, now we got, we got both these Hackintoshes side by side. That right there, AMD Hackintosh. That right there, the infamous Vostro 1510 Hackintosh. Quartz Extreme enabled, no Quartz Extreme. Now, this one has sound. Let me show you. All right, so there's sound. Hold on, let me put that back for you. But that's what it looked like when Quartz Extreme is not uh, enabled. Um, like I said, there's no watching DVDs. Uh, some applications are going to be looking for Quartz Extreme. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a little flaky. Let me cut this light off. There we go. You asked for it, you got it. Uh, Hackintosh video about uh, Hackintosh and the AMD.